ask yourself, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing? I'm thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, how are you, Michael? I'm doing good. Thank you. Cool, cool. Uh, that's not my question, but... Yeah, so I watched your... Uh, I watched okay, your... Not, to re not to remute him. He's off his question next. <laughs> yeah. I watched your video, uh, Morality as a System of Logic, and I'm yeah. confused by what's being said in this video. So it sounds like you're talking about some kind of moral objectivism, but I'm a bit weirded out. You say that truth is the fundamental value. Are you, like, presumably you're holding some kind of moral system where there's certain values which, if someone holds, they're actually in error, right? Yes. Okay, so what would, like, an example of one of those values be that one would be in error to hold? So, like, okay, well, it, Like, if they valued, like, raping people or something, would that yeah, be... Yeah, it's usually... It's usually uh, a case of them not holding certain values, but I mean, we can just do double negation. So I explained in my latest video why it's inherently contradictory to not be a libertarian, because by even acting, you are f affirming the idea that you should follow your own morality, which is the basis of libertarianism, right? So to not acknowledge liberty when you are actively using it, and it's actually technically impossible for you, for you to not affirm it, that would be illogical. Um, so, so that would be an example. How about if someone if someone values something that imposes on liberty, like say that they value, you know, genociding like an mm -hmm. entire continent of people, that person has yeah. a wrong moral value. Yeah, it, it's it's at a meta level self defeating. S yes. So uh, I, so self defeating meaning that there's a contradiction in their view. Yeah, it would be like saying truth does not exist. Right? Well, that's that, a truth claim. It's it, same okay. form. Okay, so what would be the contradiction then? Because I, I don't so I, see the contradiction. I'll try to... So I explained it really well in my latest video, but to just try and do it on the spot, the contradiction is that um, basically when you are trying to, like, genocide or rape, you are basically appealing to uh, a Wait, morality sorry, you have. sorry, I didn't say they're trying to. I just said they value that. That is their value. They value Correct. that, right. So they... They, they don't they have, have to be trying morality. to do it. Yeah, sure. Sure, so they, if they value something and they have a morality, right... Um, and they are at least even entertain the permissibility, like they, they think that it would be okay for them to try to do it, then they are affirming the idea that being able to follow your morality is something that you should do. Because they don't have to. The fact that they do means they, they think it's okay. Um, and so basically they're using their morality to justify harming someone else. But that's contradictory because the, the idea that you should be able to follow your own morality, um, by taking that ability away from other people, you're contradicting that, essentially. Um, so, like, the, the, the best way to word it is, so, like, I say liberty is valuable, right? Uh, and you say, well, what if I don't value liberty? Why should I have to follow it if I don't value it, right? That's well, it's not, it's, not quite, it's not quite what I said. I, I said, what is, what is the error someone's committing? And you said the type of error is a contradiction. What is the contradiction if someone values genociding a continent of people? I just want to know yeah. what the contradiction is, yeah. Yeah, so this is the best way of wording it. I, I could reword it after this if you if you think it's like a, a misrepresentation of what no, you're go saying. Go for it, absolutely. But so, so I would I postulate that the liberty is valuable, and then someone would say, uh, "Well, what if I don't value liberty? Why should I have to follow it?" You're you are affirming to liberty because liberty is the idea that you shouldn't have to follow values that you don't hold. So you're actually saying. I shouldn't, you're saying, I don't value the principle that I shouldn't have to follow principles that I don't value. Therefore, I shouldn't have to follow it. So you are affirming liberty in your attempt to deny it. So the way that we would apply that to the example you just now gave is you're like, I value raping people. I, why, why should I have to follow liberty if I don't value it? So you're basically saying the underlying implicit argument is I should not have to follow things I don't believe in. I should be able to follow things that I do believe in, like rape and genocide. Well, congratulations, that's what libertarianism is, which logically prevents you from being able to do that. So it's just, that's, that's, does that make sense? Um, well, I, I'm not sure if it makes sense or not, but I don't think it addresses my question. So I'm not trying to be rude and you tell me when you've oh, had, had totally your, fine, yeah. you, you tell me when you've had your fill with my question, because I, I often eat up this discord, usually grilling people about veganism. I actually care a lot about moral issues, but I'm, I'm a pretty staunch relativist about morality. Okay. So, what I don't understand is what the contradiction is. So I've heard you talk about formal logic. So presumably, like, I don't know if you're like a philosophy student or, or what you're doing in uni, but you have some like kind of like basic level of competence with formal logic. Yeah. 
Okay, so you understand what a contradiction is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so I don't, sure. I don't understand formally speaking what the contradiction is. Like, is there some proposition so you, and negation you, being affirmed? Okay. Let, let me let me give you the statement, and I want you to tell me if you see the formal contradiction. Right. So, I don't value the principle that I should not have to follow principles I don't value. Therefore, I should not have to follow it. Do you see syllogistically like where the contradiction is in that, or like well, symbolically I'd... rather? Yes, it would be weird to say syllogistically because it wasn't an argument. Yeah, yeah, I, I, meant to, well, I, meant to, I meant to say it's in, like, in terms That's of, like, a, symbol. If we wrote it out, right? Not, not quite, because there's there's a lot of, like, I wasn't sure about the language that was used there. But, I mean, an easy way to frame a contradiction would be you could give an example of a proposition and its negation that someone is committed to uh, saying, where someone's committed to saying both are true in virtue mm -hmm. of their uh, their, you know, value valuing of uh, uh, genociding a continent of people. So I'm looking for a statement like, for example, the sky is blue and it's not the case that the sky is blue. Or like, you know, the cat's on fire and it's not the case that the cat is on fire. I'm looking for, like, strictly speaking, a logical contradiction that someone gets roped into if they say that they value genociding a continent of people. I'm not convinced there is one, and I, I don't see one right now. Yeah, so the explicit contradiction would be, premise one would be an affirmation that you should be able to follow your own morality, um, that that is just a but, truth, right? Sorry, sorry I, don't, I, don't mean to, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't, I don't even need an argument right now. Right now, I just want to know what the contradiction is. If there's an argument leading up to the contradiction, that's obviously of interest, but just, okay. just the contradiction. I don't need premises and a conclusion. I just want to know what okay. the contradiction the, is. Yeah. The contradiction is, premise one, all people should be able to follow their own pursuits. Premise two, I'm going to take away the ability for certain people to follow their own pursuits. Okay, so all people should be able to follow their own pursuits, and it's not the case mm -hmm. that all people should be able to follow their own pursuits. That's what the contradiction is? Basically, yeah. I, I, I'm sure I could probably word this better if I like had a syllogism prepared, but that's yeah, the that, basic idea. That That's fine, and I mean, I don't expect you to do it on the spot. If you ever want to follow up, you're welcome to, of course. Um, but I don't, I don't understand how someone from saying that uh, they value, you know, genociding a continent of people is committed to saying mm -hmm. both, what, what was the example you gave? That they they believe people should be able to follow their desires and they shouldn't be able to? Was that what you said the contradiction was? Yeah, it's on one hand you affirm the notion that you should be able to follow your own morality, but then on the other hand you negate that. Note. You meaning for all people? I, 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 um, don't, I don't see, because... Also, it's, it's, so if you can't find it right now, you can just you can back off the claim. I'm not going to really if you don't want to try to like if you don't think you can do it right here. But it's I I don't understand if I say you know I value genociding Africa or something a position we all we all would hate that position obviously, but just to take mm -hmm. an evil position, right? I don't yeah. I don't see how someone how you're going to derive from there that they've said. Every agent should be able to, you know, actualize their desires, and it's not the case that every agent should be able to actualize their desires. I don't even understand how you got either of those, uh, well, especially the first one. I don't understand how you derive that from the statement about the genocide. Like, how, how do we get from A to B there? And if you don't know, that's fine. You can just say, just say it. No, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I, I would suggest after the AMA, you go listen to the, like, last two minutes of my, of my latest video where I explain this specific argument. Um, but, like, the idea is that by acting you affirm the idea that having a morality and you know, entitles you to follow it and for all agents um i i don't see anything inherent within the like process that would stipulate it to only you well just say, the basic statement by is by, by a morality we just mean like a set of values that one holds yeah like imagine that um that you so you, you have this morality and then you hold it and then you you act on it. So you affirm that you follow it. Um, but then you, you, you stop existing now, right? And it's just like a robot in place of you. Okay. Uh, I don't see why, I don't see why your position in that would change anything about the affirmation. The affirmation would still be there. I, I don't understand. I mean, if I, are you saying that when I have a value and I act on that value, I'm somehow committed to the view that everyone has some kind of right to actualize their values? Because I do not are, see how that you are, follows. You are committed to the view that having a morality entitles you to follow it. For all and agents? I'm saying and I, and I, I don't, I'm not even sure that follows for me, but it's just really obvious it doesn't follow for all agents. If, like, if the principle that you, that you will 
if, if the principle that having a morality entitles you to follow it and all people belong to the group what? of people who have moralities, then it would logically require that it apply to all people. If, if it were the case that for some reason, if I say I value holocausting a continent of people, that that entails some kind of statement like for all agents, they have a right to, you know, follow their morality or something like that, which I, do, I don't see how that's entailed. That's that I'm missing out on that. And then somehow it also entails the negation of that proposition. Sure, that's a contradiction, but I don't see how you, let's just start with the first proposition. Like, I just don't see how you're getting there. Let's say right now I tell you, well, I'll just play the role. I, I want to genocide Africa. Okay, someone can clip that. Mm -hmm. Now, I already done it. Where, where am I committed to saying, oh, great, thanks. Where am I committed to saying, that everyone should be able to actualize their values. Some guy who doesn't want to genocide Africa, fuck him. He shouldn't be able to actualize his values. So I'm not sure if this is how I would word it. Again, I'm doing this on the spot. That's but fine. if you look in AMA discussion, mm -hmm. I'm post a syllogism. So it's not that I'm. Sp it's not that in the statement you specify all people should be able to. It's that the both of the facts put together result in all people. I don't. I don't understand that. Why? Why so am you, I committed? Premise. So premise one is you affirm. So, okay, so you affirm the first premise, which is having a morality entitles you to follow it. Is that no way? Not, not not wait wait not necessarily. And I'm I'm just gonna right there. Having a morality entitles you to follow it. Is that a statement about any given agent? Let's say I just reject that. I just I'm just saying. I have my morality, and I don't think that this guy who doesn't want to genocide Africa is like entitled in some way to follow his morality. So I'm not going to say yeah, that about the you then... globally or something. Yeah. So so I'm I don't rejecting... see any reason. I, I don't see any yeah. reason why it would apply to specifically you. You are just an agent who has a morality, and you act and affirm the idea that agents should be able to follow morality. Agents. If you then say I don't. You keep making that jump, though. You keep making that jump. How are you getting to agents plural? Like all I'm all I'm doing is I'm saying I'm that the base statement on its the base statement on its own is not specific. There's no reason why it would be specific. What I don't I don't know what that means, but if I say I want to genocide Africa, why why am I committed to saying that some other person has a right to like because follow their values? If you say that because I believe it's good to do this, I should do it. Though that's a different I that's, think, so that's a whole other proposition. Well, you're basically saying I have no morality and therefore I, I'm entitled to follow it. I think someone's good. Well, therefore, I, I'm, I, I, to I'm, do I'm it. not even using the word of entitled. Like all, all I'm saying is I value genociding Africa, and I'm asking, mm -hmm. I'm asking how you're somehow getting from me having that value to me having this, uh, me affirming this proposition that everyone has a right to uh, you know, follow their their values or actualize their values. How do you get from mm -hmm. me saying I value this? to some different proposition about everyone has a right to follow their values. I just don't understand. Because so, by having that morality at a meta level, you are affirming, affirming the principle that having a morality entitles you to follow it. That, 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 how? What's the argument I, I, for I, that? Yeah, I, I explained how. It's because you have a morality and What's then a, you... Well, a morality, I take that to mean a set of values. It doesn't have to be values, but sure, yeah. I, well, I don't know what else morality would mean than a set of values, and I take values to just be like desires, basically. So, unless, unless you want to put, unless you're uncomfortable with that notion of morality and you want like to put forward a different we can notion, do it, yeah. Yeah. So if if we're, I mean, if you have to revise like the notion or something, because if that creates a problem later, that's completely fine. But if I just have a set of values. How does it follow from me having some value that I'm saying everyone has some kind of like right to uh, to actualize their values? I just care about my value. I don't give a fuck about the other people. I don't want that guy who wants to save Africa from my genocide attack or whatever. I don't want that guy to be able to actualize his values. My value is in fact that he not be able to actualize his value. There's another value I have, right? Yeah, I get that. And it would just apply to that. Again, like you push the argument one level down. If you say I have a value that people should not be able to follow, like their values, then the argument would be just shifted one I didn't level down. No, I, I mean, didn't say I didn't say people, including myself, right? I, I'm just uh, let's just say other people. Like if you want to give an art, like okay, so you, you're talking about a syllogism before, and you gave a little syllogism in there. Mm -hmm. If you want to build a syllogism here, what you'd want to do is start from the one proposition that I gave you. I value genociding yep. Africa. Add whatever other premises you think are necessary. And then somehow get to a contradiction. And I mean, I, I won't hammer the point if you don't want to try to do it right now, but I just don't know what that argument is possibly going to look like.
It's got to start from the actual proposition I gave you, sure. and it's got to somehow get via other propositions that I agree with to the conclude to a contradictory conclusion. I understand exactly what your argument is. I think I do a good job addressing it in well, my last video. I didn't give an I... argument. I, I sorry to be nitpicky. I didn't give an argument. I just asked a question, really, but and I objected to your argument, but I didn't give an argument. I don't think at any point here. Well, you've made an implicit argument that there's no justification. Well, implicit That's argument. Uh, well, no, I don't know what the justification is even supposed to be about, but so I'm not sure that I'm doing exactly. that. But exactly. When, That's, that your but, argument. Your but, argument is that I don't have a justification for my for my position. Um, I'm not saying that you do or don't. I'm not even invoking the concept of justification. Justification will open like a whole other can of worms. I mean, what what theory of epistemic justification are we even talking about there? You were but, you were you were absolutely asking me about justification. You were well, saying how do I, I get from one no, premise to no, another? No, no, wait, wait. If if there is if there's an element of justification, it's not um, it's not like directly what my question is about. When you say someone's implicitly arguing something, it's like. You can, you can always dig into like what is assumed for this statement or that statement. I'm just saying the statement I gave you, right? The statement I gave you is just, I value genociding Africa. And what mm -hmm. I want to understand is how the fuck I'm contradicting myself if I say that. And sorry, yeah. swear, not swearing at you. I just don't see it. I don't get it. Where's the contradiction supposed to be? Yeah, I, I, I understand your question. I won't use the word yeah. argument. And I think I've addressed it in my video. I think you should watch that after. And if you if you still don't get it when I word it there, maybe we could have a further discussion about it. Um, sure. I'd like I'll, to do that. I'll, sh I'll shoot you an email. Thanks for putting up with me. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I'm definitely never going to take uh, interrogation as like a bad thing. Right? Uh, hold me accountable, please. Well, we have a shared value there. Have a good one, Michael. Nice talking to you. Sure. You as well, thanks.